with Texas A&M Volleyball. And I'm excited to share a little bit about the match that we just played. Uh, I thought we played against Virginia Tech and I thought that we had a, uh, a really slow start, which coaches aren't usually too happy about. However, I knew that my team likes to, to really work on the things that are identified that need to change and they're really good at making changes. So we, uh, we were able to get our ball control down a little bit better. Uh, our hitters had a really great match. Our outside hitters both hit over 300, which is not really our trademark, but it uh, was really nice to see that. I thought our setter did a really nice job distributing the ball and not just going to one or two players. We, we like to use our middles a lot. We, uh, we used our right side a lot and uh, it's just a really balanced attack which is which is nice for us so we we're excited to get back in the win column after a tough match uh, last night against Minnesota um, was really disappointed on our opening match we were up two sets to none and losing to Florida State was uh, was pretty disappointing obviously um, we just kind of lost our uh, we kind of lost our confidence honestly I think uh, we had some hitters that started to question themselves and that's never a good thing and so uh, in Florida State uh, really caught on to the things that they needed to do and got hot and uh, and were able to take the match so that was really disappointing um, I thought that Minnesota was just a phenomenal team last night they're they're a well-oiled machine already in the second week of the season and from what I saw um, I thought we had a few opportunities in there to kind of uh, get close and maybe take a set set two but um, you know, I think the good thing is, is that we started a freshman and a sophomore in the middle and the right side, I mean middle and left, and they learned a lot. Um, they, uh, that they're really key players for us, number nine and number 16, and we're really trying to get them on the court and get a lot of time, and that's what preseason is for. And so we got to achieve that goal from that. And uh, so overall, I think we're a little disappointed with the, the one and two, um, leaving Puerto Rico one and two. But we have a, another couple of weeks to really um, sharpen things up and get better and start the SEC. We, we need to learn how to start stronger. Uh, and the team knows it. Uh, we just finished the third set and we won 25, 14 or 15 or whatever. And we played a smoother, more relaxed, more comfortable game that we can play. And, and they know that that could have happened in set one and two, but we didn't, we didn't do it. And they need to discover that so when we need to learn how to start better we need to learn how to ser serve more aggressively I thought our serving this weekend overall was an F or a D minus or an F um, not not a good score and so we know we have a lot of work to do in, in serving um, but I like our passing I like our setting um, our offense can be really really nice at times and and we also really learned a lot about our blocking this weekend and it needs a lot of work as well if those things can come together over the next few weeks and, and months, um, I like our chances at the top of the SEC. Um, we have to stay healthy. I know coaches say that all the time, but it's really true for us. Uh, we lost a, a starter this weekend um, for a little while, and that, you know, a good thing we had number nine to come in and, and play as a freshman, um, did a beautiful job. So, got to be healthy. We. Uh, we got to fix the things that we've learned this weekend and we'll probably see happen a little bit more over the preseason, but hopefully it'll disappear by September, by October. Uh, no, I'm, we enjoyed Puerto Rico a lot. It was a, a, great, a, a great environment and a lot of fun to be here and I uh, wish we could have gone to the beach a little bit more. <laughs> Thank you.